I'm not FK, the game hasn't even started yet. What are you talking about? Alright, we've got an Essex and we've got a bunch of other ships. We've got some Dwines, some Osphas, a Ch Grozvoy. Yeah, that's fine. And we need to go. We need to press uh, enter. Greetings, my fellow Russians. Uh, my, 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 my fellow players. I am a totally harmless carrier player. <sighs> oh, the finger combinations are wrong. I need to muscle memory the Taiho again. 345. 345 is TVs. Okay. Add test player, please ignore. <laughs> In a Russian speaking clan. Da. Honorary member. That's right. <clears throat> okay. So the gross voice, single DD, I don't think I could pick on it. So pff, there's not a lot of realistic options here on what I can go for. Got good plain health. Um I think I have to be patient. Maybe a Buki? Possibly. Um, Essex has two fighters, um, but the tier eights. Um, Gene Bart, maybe? No, maybe not. No, no, I, I recall that having some pretty scary AA. I mean, the Mosfa's tempting. I can maybe dive bomb him. And, like, kind of bait something out. I don't. Shimakazi's fine. The Ibuki is kind of going in full ham YOLO there. I'm going to see if I can not cheekily smack this Moskva. Oh, he's not even trying to strafe. Oh, that's, that's disappointing. Oh, in the rear. Oh, did it not? Mm, okay. Well, oh, man, he clipped the two torps of the two things and got. Well, he's, he's rushing in, though, so that's fine. Did you eat all of that? My goodness, you are hungry. Well, we need to give her more food after this. Okay, so the loss was down. That's great. I'll probably cycle the two fire group to get it back up to full strength. Ah, oh, Shimakaze died, and so did their Ibuki. Oh, okay, and it's a good thing we didn't go for the Ibuki because the Grozovoy would have wrecked us. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't have done anything even if I did go there. I mean, look, there's a Grozovoy right here. He would have killed all our planes off. So what we did was for the best. You want more? Yes, yes, yes. I will get you more. Yes, Evie. Yes. We'll get you more food, okay? I'll get you maybe another pouch or maybe I'll cut you up an apple. But we have to wait until after this game, okay? Yes, that's right. So we'll get you one after this apple. Game thing. So here's the bombers. He's in the Neptune and the Cleveland. So I mean, I don't see him doing anything, especially with the Cleveland there, unless he knows the Cleveland's already done something. Uh, 
Uh oh. No, tier 8s are really resilient to the AP bombs. When they're HE anyway. Okay, I guess we're gonna try and torp drop the gene bar. Oh, hello. Hey, could you. Um... No, no, never mind. Okay. How do we get the Gene Bart though? Because he's kind of like hugging the island. Maybe we go for the curve first, all the way around. Like that. No, nope. fighters are there thinking about it. Grosvoy is out of position. I don't want to go for the Montana or that. I'd have to fly over the Gene Bart. That's not a good idea. Oh, she's on the couch. Chap I have maybe? Defensive fire, panic. He's like, he's hugging that island. I'd have to go all the way around and the Grosvoy is going to be in the way. So, you know what? I'm just going to attack totally not a flint. I'm going to watch this and then back off the instant he defensive fires if he does. Which he doesn't. Great! And don't take any evasive maneuvers whatsoever. Fantastic. So we can dive bomb the Jean Bart. That's great. We can do that. Dodging is overrated. It is indeed. So we'll tap this guy like there and like that in that way. CV is our OP. He says while well, sailing in a straight line. <laughs> Uh, don't try and do anything different. Oh, he's already on a fires a lot, but we've committed at this point, so... It's loud, Evie. That's her chew stick thing, which is, again, loud. Wow, check that out. Killed a whole bunch of planes. You want me to bomb the battleships? Mm. Was he strafing? I don't know what to say. I could. Montana, though, is problematic, although I think I'm going to have to deal with it eventually, so yeah, okay, sure, fine. The issue is that my alpha is going to be difficult. Ideally, I'd rather deal with these two people over here. That's actually the more important pressing thing, because that's going to impact everyone else. Turn six group to wait for landing. Yeah. I mean, there's enough firepower here to deal with these guys, but I'd rather just help out and make sure they die, like, like the Masashi and all that, make sure they die. Um, because these guys are going to take a long time before they come over, and I, mean, I can do that in a follow-up strike. Because if, if, if I interfere now and go after the Montana like Vanguard, they only have to focus about the planes. Whereas these guys are focusing on the, the ships that are firing at them, and then they'd have to deal with the planes. So that that's the reason. Okay, we'll land the sixth group. Go. The Cleveland there, I'd hope to think that, oh well, he's, he's really beat up though. Oh, check that out. Escapes. Okay, so the core first is by the island group and it's fine. The Masashi, however, I can go around and tap. The Demon needs to make sure he doesn't. Okay, so we're going to go right for the Masashi and just kill him now. So that way, because the curve first is in far too awkward of a position. But you know what, this Masashi may just die sooner than... It's me being greedy. I don't know why the eye was like going full ham. You don't need to ram him. 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 You do not need to ram him. Decides not to ram him. Oh! Doesn't have his guns in position though. I don't know why I'm flying this. There we go. Well done. Okay. 
You know what? I'm not gonna harass. I was just fine. I'm gonna keep running away though because I know the Montana and the Vanguard are catching up. Oh, hello. Did you try and? Okay, so there the mine now goes down. There's a, there's a lone Neptune. Oh, he's strafing me. He's strafing me. Boom, that's that dealt with. Oh, but he's lured me away with dive bombers. So I was going to get hit by dive bombers. Oh well, so be it. Get the torpedo bombers up. And, oh, okay, so enemy TBs. That's Neptune fire, so... He's probably going to die anyway, which he did. It's still kind of close, because there's a rear line of stuff coming and following us. Which I guess I can just go and try and spot. So there's the Montana. Let me group up everything. So we're going to go straight across. Well, keep him loitering there, follow the Republic, you're fine, he's in smoke, there's nothing that can see you, dude, there's no DD, the DD's like, was over there. You've got your TVs as well, hooray, yeah, so the DD's in B, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, I'm gonna go down ever so slightly. And then around for the Montana to hit him from the backside because he's firing this way, so I want to attack him from the rear there. Bring the fires over to the center. There's your Neptune. Okay, boom. He's turning. He's turning the wrong way. It's not enough to alpha kill him, so what I want to try and do is get some flooding uh, and then fires after that, so which is why I'm not sending the dive bombers in immediately. Killing his speed off, but I think I'll hit his nose. Okay, so that's flood. Great. So does he damage con? That's the issue. Does he damage control party? He does. So let's assume it's 20 seconds. So we'll wait to 7.30 and on the 30 marker of the Mulray attack. Alright, it's 30. Let's go and attack again. That means the damage con will not be done because it's longer in American carriers. I'm not really microing the plane that much because uh, I'm trying to get to this Montana as quick as I possibly can. Nothing too fancy, nothing along. Okay, I tried to do it all across the length, but no matter. Oh, okay then. Well, uh, no fires for me. Six kilometer A. Just outside my reach, besides the defensive fire on carriers, is on the mid-range guns, which is 3.7, so it's not going to go anywhere. And that's the, uh, that's the Montana trying to return me the favor of being bombed. Oh, she's asleep again. She just passed out. So, a walk and food, and that's time for a nap. Well, I'll cut her up an apple anyway after this game. So she's got something to eat if she wants. Since, you know, she can now have treats, basically, because you know, she's had her lunch. Grozovo is a bit close for me to drop the Montana, but the Vanguard is fine. And actually, what I might do is I might go up to here and then just turn around. So if we go near the Grozovo, it'll be panic defensive fire, plus all the torpedo bombers would die, probably. But the Vanguard, no, he's a, he's a juicy target, just waiting to get eaten.
Okay, Grozobo's down, but yeah, Mon Monty doesn't have any health left. So he, if he's paying attention, he will see them incoming because he's, he's, he's looking down that way. So I'm going to go past him, then drop like that. He could turn hard right, and actually he's going much faster than I thought, so I don't think these rear ones will connect. If I'm lucky, this back one, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yep, cool. Oh, that's actually a full hit. So I think he AA'd one of the planes down. So that's why it was 11, but mmm, mmm, that's, that's a, that was a good one, wasn't it? <clears throat> I'm playing Pokemon here, boys. So he's healing, and his damage con will be over. I've got four dive bombers. Theoretically, I can get four fires. <laughs> Let's try for it, shall we? No, just one. <laughs> Gotta catch all the fires. Oh well. Not bad, huh? For being um, a bunch of two tens and limited-ish choices of targets, we got ourselves two kills, beat the crap out of a third guy, get ourselves over 200k damage. Not bad. Along with 81k potential. Oh, and he's still burning down. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, I'm going to cut Eevee up an apple and then we'll continue. <clears throat> beautiful, evil, mean, all of the above. 